Hi guys, Frostfang, Sam, and welcome back once again to another Paladins video. Today we're going to be playing some good old Barak character I haven't played in a decent while. And I don't really know why, I haven't seen him picked all that often in general, but I just, I never really feel the need to pick Barak. I don't know why. But recently, Furia and Lian got removed. I don't see them on the champion page. I remember seeing a tweet saying it was to do with some of the audio bugs that were going on. If you remember, Lian's alt noise was like way louder than every other in-game sound effect. And I think Furia in this recent hotfix had a couple couple things break. I didn't actually get a chance to see any of it, but both of those characters are gone. By the time you watch this video, they, they might be back, but right now on PC, I don't know if this was even changed for console, they're actually not in the game. So if you just started playing Paladins and you'd heard of these two really cool characters, this would probably can confuse you quite a bit because there's no like, there's no like board saying updates or anything. You'd just be like, oh, what happened to these two characters? I have no idea. Now that I think about it, that could actually be like a really cool addition, like on this main screen here, having like a little board of updates and things that have happened. TDM Abyss, Barak, Swashbuck, we're not going to be doing anything ridiculous today because you guys seem to like it when I do more stand alerts that I actually play with regularly because I do still play Paladins a decent amount off camera. I've actually got my follow up video to the first stuff video now recorded and it's been on my PC for like a day and a half but I haven't really been able to put it together in that much of a cohesive way. It should hopefully be done by tomorrow or the day after because I, I replied to a bunch of the comments that's basically all the follow up video is. Kind of a, a Q&A but it was unsolicited. It's just an unsolicited Q&A. That's what we'll label it. We've got an Andro, a Genos, a Zin and a Sh in. We're going up against a Strix, a Bomb King, Meave, Ash, and Grok. That seems like a really, really strange team for TDM Abyss. Our uh, side seems pretty standard. Yeah, their team seems a, a little bit weird. I don't think I've ever played against an Ash, but now that I think about it, Max Knockback Ash on Abyss is probably a lot of fun. And as you may be able to tell, Barak is only level 15. Even though he's been around for a hell of a long time, I haven't played Barak all that much recently. I don't really ever feel the need to pick him up. And even though I have two alerts for him for two different situations, I have one when they don't have many anti heals, and I have one for when they have a ton. That's all. All I really use is these two alerts I'm about to show you. And legendary card wise, I tend to either go for Tinkering or Hair Trigger. Hair Trigger is probably my favorite just because it lets you spam your basic attacks. And these are the two loadouts. So they're pretty much the same. They have the same cards. They're just leveled differently. So they don't have that much color eyes. So we'll go for this one. Sure, it's just leveled differently to the other. We'll go Kronos as well. I really like the way this weapon looks. I just tried to mount up even though that's not an option. Let me hit F9. There we go. This weapon is, is spicy. It's not often I spawn on this side, but let's go. This is one of my favorite weapons, I think, in all the Paladins. The skull and crossbones look so sick. I always end up running out of things to, to add onto my commentary when I'm making videos like this of just standard Paladins matches. We're just going to ruin this Strix. There, there we go. That wasn't too bad. Is anybody else even here? We're healing for 180 a second when we stand near our turret. That's still ridiculous to me because they don't have any quarter eyes right now. So we're just straight up going to be fully healing whenever we're near our turret. Let's go be aggressive. Sure. Should we pull up a wall? Do I need to pull up a wall here? I don't know. I don't think we do. Let's pull one up anyway. Sure. Let's pop that up. Hello, Ash. Should we chase her down? Are we chasing the Ash? No, that's a, that's a bad idea. Let's just pull that wall up and slowly remove ourselves from the situation there. Freaking Strix is looking pretty bad. Hello, Ash. She's nearly dead as well. I don't want to be knocked off the map here because this is a bit of a sketchy situation. But freaking Bomb King is trying to flank again, but I'm not going to fall off. I'm not about to take that L, Bomb King. Or maybe I will. I got killed again. He's doing ridiculous damage this game. He's doing a good job of that, but I'm not able to really kill him. I think I need more quarter eyes. We have two people getting it. Can we get rid of you? Um, what happened to your health bar? Um, I thought I had a free kill there. I want a refund. I want a refund on my bullets. That was useless. I don't think I've ever witnessed that before, but that was a really, really, really strange bug. He, he looked like he had no health, and then I, I hit him, and he, he just had a full health bar, I'm guessing. I'm going to die because I have a bomb stuck to me any second. I'm just dancing around trying to get healed up from my turret. I don't even know where anyone is. We're going to F this way. Hello, Bomb King. Can we kill you? I only deal 500 a shot. We got him. Hey, nice. Let's put that down, and let's all... Sure, that was completely unnecessary, but I'm going to try and get a double. There we go. Cheeky spray. I don't think that was even going to be top play. But it was it was kind of funny to do anyway. There we go. We got another assist. Nice. We're actually probably one of my top players for getting like eliminations, just because you can like have a part in so many kills. Didn't he just ult? Am I, am I blind? Does he have morale boost? How did he ult again? I swear I just got ulted by by a Charlin there. It's not Charlin. That's a Strix. I'm so fucking bad with names. But I feel like Barak is one of the more annoying characters to go against. I don't even understand the point in that. I think she's probably going knock max knockback Ash, but it didn't really make much of a difference because she knocked me off on a part of the map where I can easily survive or not. Am I gonna live here? No. What even just knocked me back. Did I just die to a Bomb King F? I don't even get to see how I died there. What is he running? I need to check this out. That was ridiculous. What's he gone for? He has 75% increased knockback. That's why I died there. There was no way I was staying on the map in that situation. We really need more quarter eyes because all of these guys are like full health. This is, this is bad. This is bad right here. This is the 
actual definition of a shitty situation being like absolutely rushed by a full team with no quarter eyes and they have a grok this is so annoying here we go i'm slowly dealing damage we're nearly getting rid of him but i really do need some court here god damn i'm eight to six as barrack i don't even feel like i'm doing that well hello bomb king am i gonna die again no we're gonna beat him this time we're gonna beat him this time there we go finally got revenge i think i killed him once already as well earlier on in the match but that's revenge for like the three other times he killed me they're all so grouped together they must be playing as a pre-made i'm not about to be knocked off that's not how this works ash i'm not about to die in a pussy way like that i've already died a couple and i've had enough with it did i just get a double how can we get rid of the bomb king as well sure let's be all in aggro let's pop that shield and let's all oh, that was a bad idea but i'm actually kind of full health Thank you, turrets, for healing me up, as well as Genos. I appreciate that. I don't want to die to that Bomb King. Can we get you, Strix, as well? Another flash on me? Holy crap, that's like the third one. What is going on this game? I don't even know what I can say. I'm having everyone focus me. I don't think anyone on the enemy side's, like, recognize me, because I don't feel like they've focused me that much, but I just feel like any time somebody has an ult, it just it ends up, like, going right on my face, and I, I don't like that. Also, that Bomb King just had the same bug that the Grok had earlier on this game, where he looked like he had no health, but he actually was full. Can you you not kill me, Meave? I'm on, like, no health. God damn it. That's a, a pretty severe bug, honestly. That's, like, nearly game-breaking, because that literally makes you think someone has no health when they have full health. I feel like that definitely needs to be fixed. I know they just hot-fixed a bunch of stuff, but that is, like, a, a top-tier bug for me. We got the kill, so it's, like, a trade. That's fine. I don't even care that I got knocked off. But, uh, but a bug where it makes it look like a character doesn't have health when they do, that, that is, like, what I would classify as a game-breaking, like, problem. And I feel like that definitely needs to be really high up on their priority list, because that's just ridiculous. Can we get rid of this this freaking Ash? She's nearly gone. It's freaking Thank you, Charlene, for firing into it. I appreciate that. There we go. There's not really anything else I can add. Russian name went ahead and got top play as Bomb King. I don't know what he was on, but he was absolutely shredding us. He was doing such a good job. This play here was crazy. I was the only person who seemed to notice him. I managed to, like, bring myself back on the map, and then the Charlene still hadn't turned around. None of my team realized that Bomb King was flanking. I seemed to be the only one who had any awareness that game, because I think I caught him two times when he was trying to flank, and none of my team did, so I obviously can't do anything to kill him on my own, especially when he's getting healing, and my team didn't want to turn around. We've got a battle chest. Sick. Two battle chests. Cool. So let's take a look at the scoreboard. I had 50k, nearly, and 30k shielding. Our Zin was on some weird shit. Our Genos did pretty good. Our Andro did pretty good, and our Shaolin was also on some weird shit. I think we can all agree that Shaolin and Zin there were with a problem on our side. They really weren't adding much to the fights there. If we take a look at their Grok, he was doing a pretty damn good job. Nearly had 50,000 heals. He had 20 assist and 20k damage. Their Grok was really good. Their Meave, not so much. He just finished off a bunch of kills. Their Ash also wasn't that great. Their Strix was surprisingly better than the Bomb King there, but everyone on their team, I could say, did well. I guess Meave and Ash were slightly, like, worse off because they had less damage, but they still played pretty well. Did I have top damage that whole game? I did, other than the Andro. Our Andro did pretty good. Let's go ahead and start game two, I suppose. We're doing another TDM on Trade District this time. We actually have the guy who played Bomb King on the last match, this time on my side, playing Pip. We also have Frog of Doom who I'm pretty sure was the Strix in the last match. I'm guessing he's a, a Strix main. So we've got these two guys again on our side. I don't recognize these two names, but I recognize these two at least. And I'd say they were the two better players on the enemy team in that last match. So we should have an easy time here. We have Pip as a solo healer, which is going to be a little bit strange because I'm guessing he's going for damage. We've got two flankers, a damage, a tank, and a healer. They have Andrew as a flank, Victor as a damage, Makoa as a tank, Koga and Meave as two other flankers. So they have three flanks, damage, and tank. We have the same except except instead of that extra last flank, we have Pip. Okay, cool. What a weird game. I'm trying to recognize any of the names. Pataquan, I'm pretty sure, was the Andro in the last game. So there's like three people, at least, that were in our last match. I recognize Gruza and Raycuna as well. Those are two names I think I've heard before. But there's three people that are in the last game, except instead I'm going against Pataquan, and I have the Russian dude and Frog of Doom on my side. I like the name Frog of Doom. I, I recognize it, and, and I like it. It's the sort of name I would pick. It's very similar to Frost Fangs. Frog of Doom, Frog of... Frog of Frog of frog of fangs, <laughs> fuck's sake. I'm gonna go for hair trigger again. I feel like it makes the most sense. They're probably not gonna have that much anti heal either, but I'm gonna go for this one just to give you, I guess, a bit of a demonstration of both of the loadouts. This one lets us deploy our shit faster, and it also gives us more of a benefit for actually getting elimination. So I feel like both of them make sense. They're just like different for different situations. Let's go for a cheeky flank. This is like the same right pick every single time. There's a good couple thousand damage we just dealt. This Meave's actually nearly out already. The Pip has gone for the healing legendary card, so that's kind of nice. Maybe he'll actually be able to heal me up a decent amount in this game because they've only got two quarterizes. 
which is something that shouldn't be too bad to deal with. Then Makoa just spawned in front of me where I could actually see him. That's kind of ridiculous. That heal isn't healing me for much. Hello, Andro. Yay, we just we, we just won that fight. How did I just win that fight? We just beat him somehow. Hello, me. You're nearly dead as well. There we go. Spicy bit of a revenge there. Standing in between my turrets seems to be working quite well. Hello, Koga. We're going to kill you as well. He's nearly gone. My god, we're actually holding our, our own here. How am I not dead? How did I live for so long without really any support other than that pit behind me? That was crazy. I think I play Barrett quite a bit more aggressively than most people. I tend to play really, really aggro and just run at people, even though it makes no sense because it's way more fun. I'd rather go ahead and push up instead of sitting back because it's more fun and I guess it's more entertaining. I tried to pull my shield up there. I I'm dead. Like I said, he's just playing defensively with his team, hooking, and, and then I'm screwed. There's nothing I can do there. Once I'm hooked by that Makoa, I'm, I'm practically a goner. Let's go ahead and pop that Q down. Hello, me. We're actually even right now. I feel like this game has been really strange. I've died most of the time just because I've been hooked by that Makoa into the full team. They're playing really, really grouped as if they were pre-made, but I don't think they are. I think the Makoa is just very good with his positioning. Oh my god, am I going to die like this? Am I going to die here? I'm just going to keep hitting fire. That's my tactic here. Just keep spamming fire. Hey, it's tactics working. I'm being really up front and they're actually all really, really low health. There we go. We got rid of the Makoa. My aggression is working out quite nicely this game. Can I, can I mention that real quick? Me being super aggro when I'm not being cauterized at least and being healed by that pip is working fantastically. Just because I'm pushing up so hard and they don't really know how to deal with it a lot of the time. Hello, Makoa. Can someone kill him? Thank you. I'm probably not playing this the way it's meant to be played. I'm just playing full aggro back and I'm having quite a bit of fun, so that's fine. I'm also being able to spam my stuff a lot more than I was in the last game, although my sustain is down a little bit. Is that the same bug again with that Makoa looking like he has no health? Is that really going to happen three times in one video? Let's just remove his health bar real quick. Hello, Andro. What's popping? Are you having the same bug? No, he actually is on low health. It's kind of sad that I genuinely can't tell half the time now when someone is on low health or if they're bugged. That's that's kind of ridiculous. They really, really need to fix that. I know this the hotfix has only been out for like a day when I'm recording this video, but still, that's such a big bug. Shield, hello. What's popping? What's popping? Am I dead here? He kind of just saved me from the Andro a little bit. My, my F just got denied from something. I don't think anyone has CC to stop that, so that's a, a little bit weird. Why did I get stopped mid-F? Bit strange. They're all here on the right. Let's go. Let's go. Push up. Let's go. What's happening, enemy team? There's a couple hundred on you. That nade's actually going to hit me. I see you, Makoa. You think you're slick. You think... I'm dead. <laughs> <laughs> of course, I bring out the you think you're slick line and then I end up dying because I, I thought I was slick and I thought he wasn't slick and the, the slick exchanged. With 30 to 30 again, this game's been even for practically the whole thing. Hello, Andrew. He's really low. There we go. Managed to finish him off. I don't know who I should be focusing. This Mako is on pretty low health. Let's chase him. I have pretty much the same ability as you, except instead of spinning, I, I get like a little rocket booster on my feet. Now that I think about it, that's actually really, really strange that Makoa's F is practically the same as Barak's F realistically. There's like barely any difference. There's just an animation change. And obviously the, the cards make it different. Oh, I tried to ult there. I'm going to ult anyway. I'm dead. I'm dead. I'm dead. I'm dead. I'm dead. Why did I do that? I really thought I would have lived. Is he still taking fire damage even though I deployed it ages ago? That was weird. Are we going to win this one? I feel like we're going to win this one. We only need one more kill. We should have this in the bag. What's popping? Makoa. He's got no hook, so this should be a freebie. There we go. Thank you for the victory. I'll take that. I feel like we played better that game, so we deserve the win. The last one we definitely didn't, so we deserved the loss. Victor got top play. Levels 7 victor. My god, the VGS spam is crazy. What even is this? What even is this play? Is he just gonna ult? I, I really want this to just be him hitting E and then hitting left click. Oh, it's a nade. It's a nade. It's a double nade. You know, I'm actually fine with that being top play. I feel like that's good use of the, the Victor standard loadout where people get their cooldown reduced for the nade. That's like one of the only times I've seen it be top play. I like that way of playing Victor. It just doesn't work out for me. So it's good when I see people actually use it correctly. We've got best frontline. Again, not that that really means much. If we take a look at the stats, I went 8, 8, 12. Not the best, but I had 34k damage, which was, what, fourth top in that match? I'll take that as a bar. I shielded for quite a bit as well, so I'll take that. Uh, Sky topped me. Uh, Pip did pretty damn good. The Russian dude actually seems like a decent St. Paladins player. Our Strix, again, did pretty well. Buck didn't do that great. I guess he did the worst, but he still did fine. Their Meave. Their Meave had a really, really low damage amount. Actually, the least amount of damage in that game alongside the Koga, so both of their flanks didn't really do that great of a job there. And Joe, on the other hand, Pataquan, again, doing pretty decent top damage on his team other than the Victor, who I'm pretty sure is top damage just because he was using that loadout where you just repeatedly throw Q and then, I guess, hit E when you have your ult up. And then Makoa did pretty good too. Not really much else I can say. They're just a decent, wholesome barrack video. I hope this has been enjoyable to watch. Let me know, like I said, what you want to see me do in the comment section down below. This one was fun. I feel like I, I did a decent job of portraying Barak. I think I, I actually did a pretty good job also, without intending to, of explaining why not many people pick him, or at least I haven't seen him picked all that much, because he's kind of a character that has always been 
eh, I, as far as I know, most people see Barak as that character that, eh, he's a frontliner. Why would I pick him when I can pick other characters that are a little bit more unique? He's he's the turret character. I think that that's his role at this point. He is the character who can place down turrets, and they're pretty easy to kill. He can also put down shields. He's pretty, pretty standard stuff. Maybe that's why he's not picked all that often. He's just not that highly picked, as far as I know, at least. he's I don't see him all that often in games, and when I do, it's either by a really, really new player or someone who, knew, who knows exactly what they're doing and can absolutely shred a team by making himself the most annoying character in that match. Like I said, I'd love to hear your thoughts. Thank you so much for watching, and as always, stay frosty.